900-pound bomb defused in the north as Gordy finds an IRA training camp in Monaghan. Albania calls for an inquiry after refugee boat sinks in collision with Italian warship. And in Strasbourg, massive demonstrations against the extreme right National Front Convention. Good evening. The IUC say an IRA plot to kill members of the security forces has been foiled after a 900-pound bomb was defused close to a British army base in County Down. Earlier, the British Labour Party said Sinn Féin could be admitted to the multi-party talk soon, but only if there's an immediate IRA ceasefire. The RUC described this as a massive bomb designed to murder members of the security forces. The 900-pound device was packed into nine plastic bags and loaded onto two wooden pallets. It had been placed in a ploughed field alongside the main road leading to the Ballykindler British Army base. The RUC said the bombers had undoubtedly plotted to attack a patrol travelling that route, but it was obvious they had been interrupted and fled, leaving the device intact. They also left behind detonating equipment, an AKA assault rifle and a motorbike. While no one has yet claimed responsibility, it looks like the work of the IRA. Earlier, the British Labour Party spokesperson on the North told that organisation if it declared a ceasefire immediately, then Sinn Féin should be admitted to the multi-party talks. Mo Molam said if it could be proved over the next two months that any ceasefire was genuine, then Sinn Féin could take a place at the talks due to resume on June the 3rd. If they show by word and deed their commitment to the democratic process that we think they ought to um, swiftly move in to the talks process. Her comments have angered unionists. The DUP said there it is? will never talk to Sinn Féin. No, I don't think there is any circumstance where the provisional IRA are serious about a cessation of violence. They will tactically stop their violence from time to time if they think they will get political reward for it. And judging by today's bomb find, it seems the IRA is intent on continuing its campaign of violence. The RUC said unusually, each of the nine bags containing the explosive were fitted with their own boosters. If the bomb had have been detonated, they said, many lives, both civilian and military, would have been lost. Gorthy have found what they believe are two IRA training camps in a heavily wooded area near Scotstown in County Monaghan. One of the camps is believed to be underground. Initial reports say there were indications of weapons having been fired. There are no further details at the moment. <laughs> 